As you can see, I've got a slight problem. Got a pretty good sized drill press that's currently sitting in my garage floor. So I went to handy dandy Harbor Freight and picked up a universal tool stand. Now this is supposedly a heavy duty. This is the bigger of the two that they sell. Part number is 69805 and I hope it is heavy duty because that drill press weighs about 175 pounds. So we're gonna crack it open, assemble it, and hopefully it will hold that little beast and we can uh, go and buy another one of these if I need it for anything else. I think they're about 40 bucks or so, plus you can use 20% off. And I also will put a Amazon link below so you can buy this or a similar product as well. Regarding the hardware, they're all the same size screw. And they come with the screw, the washer, and the nut. And they're all already together like that. So Before you start slapping together, determine the height you want because this is actually an adjustable stand. So the first steps are going to be adjusting your height and they are right here. So you see you've got leg six and leg four and you've got several slots. So you can make this shorter or taller by a few inches. Another thing to keep in mind, assemble everything loosely. So that way when you've got it, you can square it up and you've got it all together, then tighten everything down. Don't just start cranking it down and then wonder what's going on because that's what it is. I'm gonna be assembling with this, but I'm not gonna tighten them up. And there it is complete. It uh, seems really, really sturdy to me. I mean, I'm shaking the whole drill right now and nothing's falling apart. I guess only time will tell. Now, the drill press weighs, uh, that's said 170, I would say 150 pounds. I actually stood on top of it to change the belt uh, on top of the drill press because I'm gonna change the speed so I had to, to stand on the actual bench and it, it held that and I'm uh, close to 200 pounds. So, seems sturdy enough. One thing to note is you'll notice the bottom shelf. I, I measured for that. I think I showed that. I made it the exact dimension of that opening, which is fine. But keep in mind, if you're going to put a shelf down there, you're going to want to uh, either put that in before you put the upper assemblies on, the crossbars here, or like I did, you'll have to take them off and then put it in and hold it up and do that kind of thing. Because um, there's no way to get that in there because it tapers up the whole thing. It's not perfectly square, it's got a taper to it, so there's no way to get that in there. Please feel free to post any questions or comments. Uh, subscribe and thanks for watching.